Kitchen. I'm Julia. So today I'm going to show you how to make another delicious burger recipe. Here in Denmark we call it a ribbon sliced burger, which means a pork rib roast burger. It is so so good and you can pretty much buy it anywhere here in Denmark. We love them. Um, normally it is served with some pickles in the middle and some red cabbage and stuff like that. Um, I just don't like that so I'm not going to make that or even serve it. I'm just going to tell you what we normally serve in these. I always say it's without all of that. So I'm just going to add some rucola in it instead. It is just tasty. But first we have to get started with our pork rib roast. Here in Denmark we call that a ribbing style. So I'm not really sure if we actually have the same cut as you have. Um, but I will show you the meat cut itself. Um, I just googled the name and it said a pork rib roast. So just tell me if that is correct. <laughs> but let's get started with this burger here. So my meat is looking like this. The skin on top here I've just cut, sliced it down here. Don't cut into the meat, only down to the fat. And then here in the bottom there is these bones. Um, I am first going to remove them when my meat is done in the oven, so I'll just let them sit for now. Uh, but yeah, this here is pretty much my meat piece here. I just have a small rib roast here. Um, it is only one kilo, so that is a small piece. Uh, but that is enough for me, we are only two in this apartment here. But now I am just going to add some salt to it and then in with some water. And my oven is already at 180 degrees C, convention oven. Okay, so I'm just going to add a lot of salt to the top here. Like that. And then I'm just going to rub it in, down, down, down. Really get it down in to the skin here. some water to my tin here just like that just about half a centimeter up on the sides here I have about um, 400 milliliters in here of water and now I am going to use my meat thermometer here and I have a lot of salt on my fingers don't mind that so first what I'm going to do is actually to Get it all the way through and then just kind of measure how long that is and then we take the half of that and place in here just to make sure that I get it into the center of this meat here. So I'm now going to place my meat into the oven and when the meat is done we want the center to be about 75 degrees C and then it's going to be taken out and let it rest for about 20 minutes. But if the skin is not crispy when it is about 65 to 67 degrees, I am going to turn the heat up to about 230 degrees C, convention oven instead of the 180 that it is right now. Um, but if I can see that the skin is crispy at 65 to 67 degrees, I am not going to touch on the temperatures in there. It is just if the skin is not crispy, so just remember that. I will write all of it down below in my description and I will tell you what I did at the end. But now it is going in there and my meat is not that big so it might not take so long. We will see about that and when it is done I will return. So my meat is now done in the oven. It got around 1 hour and 20 minutes and I have a kilo of meat here. I kind of had to do it on Gefühl, as they say in Germany. Um, kind of feel my way to this meat here because my meat thermometer just decided not to work today. Uh, but I had a candy thermometer that I can just stick in sometimes and check it. So it is about 75 degrees now in the center and I have just let it rest for about 20 minutes. And now we are going to take the bones out. 
And I'm just going to flip this around here, like that. And then I'm going to give it a cut on top of the bones because that would just make it so, so easy to get them out like that. And then they should just come out easily like that. Oh my god, it smells so, so good. when I cut it out. So I have changed my angle now and I am now ready to cut my meat. It smells so so good. And that is just so so juicy. Oh my god. That is so, so delicious. Um, I am pretty much ready to assemble my burger, but what I did was to make a quick cold sauce or a quick cold dressing. I just added some sour cream and some mayonnaise, some thyme and some salt and some pepper in a cup and just stirred it around. And I want my dressing to be a bit more thin, so I added in a splash of milk and just stirred it in there. And then I also cut out some thin slices of onion and I have prepared some rucola salad. But you can pretty much add whatever you like in there. Just remember we normally serve this with some pickles in there and some red cabbage and stuff like that. So yeah, but now I'm ready to assemble my burger. And if you are having trouble to get the skin crispy, you can actually just cut it off after you have <laughs> made it in the oven. And then just cut out into some slices and then place into the microwave with some paper towels on top and on the bottom on a plate. And just give it in there until they are nice and crispy. They will bubble up and that will be so, so good. So you can also do that if you are finding it hard to make some crispy skin on this pork rib roast. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to cut some of the fat off this meat here because this pork rib roast or a rib ribbon <laughs> or a ribbon style here in Denmark is filled with fat and when you are making a burger you don't want that in there so I'm just going to cut some of that out so it is kind of going to be some smaller pieces of meat and then the crispy skin on top and yeah after that when the burger is assembled it is ready to be served. So that was my recipe for my pork rib roast burger or a ribbon sized burger. I tried to cut it up <laughs> just for you so you can see the inside. But all of that crispy skin, it was kind of hard to cut into. But I ended up having it cut open. And now I think I have to give it a taste. Mm. 
then it's just so, so good. And if you want to give it a go, just go down in my description and you can find all the ingredients down there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye!